Good afternoon traders. Welcome to another video. This is Sasha and it's March 20th. Quick disclaimer that this is just how I see the markets. This is not a recommendation to buy, sell or hold any securities. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to start with the TD Bank today. Uh, we are looking at the weekly chart here. As you can see, uh, I'm going to plot one line here so you understand what I'm talking about here. If we take a look at these peaks right here, okay, you can see that these were very significant for the stock. And uh, finally, we are above that. We had uh, one rejection here. Let me, let me just... Uh, enlarge here a little bit so you can see we had kind of a rejection here with this uh, not a pin bar take a look when I put this here you can see that my line goes straight through that candle so basically the body of this candle here that actually peeked through it was a kind of fake out it's not a pin bar it's not a real pin bar it's not the body did not close within the body of the previous candle and remember that when, it, when we talk about Air Canada, so I'm going to show you another example of what's happening right now with Air Canada. After that, we had this uh, clear breakout here. Price closed above 77.50 area, 60 area, somewhere there. And then uh, we just moved on into a, a bullish move. Also, if I squeeze the, uh, the candles right here like that, um, if we look in the past, there's uh, not much for us to look at uh, or to go by. So all we have at the moment here is this uh, peak right here, okay, which was at um, $80. With this strong breakout here, usually when one uh, strong area breaks out, uh, the move is uh, so strong that it will uh, finally either come to the next uh, uh, resistance or support area or it's going to just break out easily through it. So that's how it basically usually works when, uh, when something breaks out. So finally now what we have on a weekly chart, I'm going to delete this one because this is not significant for me anymore. Uh, all I'm looking at now is this peak here because this is where the market used to be and this is all I can uh, rely on right now to, to, uh, to make my analysis. If I also pull the, uh, the chart like this, we can see that this candle almost came to the, to the exact point of this uh, $80 uh, mark. We had a clear breakout out of this area here uh, as the move was really, really strong. So now where we are, we are in uncharted area basically. We do not know how high this market can go, so we will not make any assumptions. All we have to go by right now is basically we have this breakout here. So we have a breakout okay, of this significant uh, resistance area. We are waiting now for the market to come down here and to retest this 80 area, okay, 80 area. If this market is strong enough and this area is strong enough to hold uh, that kind of a price, uh, we will see a, a clear signal for us to, uh, to move on from that area and to buy in around that $80 area, okay. If this is just a fake out and it can happen, basically, this is what's going to happen. Market broke out, once comes back here to retest it, it will close the price below, okay? And if it closes a price below, if we see the rejection of this level here, okay, like this, so it has to be an upside hammer, like not the signal like this, this is a bullish, this is a bearish signal, okay? If we get something like this, we could get market coming down again to the 75 area, okay, to retest, and that will be our second area to buy in into this market. Okay, if the, only if this is a fake out. So that's what we are waiting for right now. We are waiting for the market to come back to $80 and confirm that this area is actually significant and it will stay like that. If not, uh, we will see the breakdown uh, to 70, uh, 76 area here. Uh, so this is how I see uh, uh, TD Bank at the moment on a weekly chart. So we are uh, waiting for the market to come back and uh, uh, retest the 8004 area. All right, let's move on to Royal Bank. On the Royal Bank, uh, what we have here, basically, if we pull the chart as well, we are on the weekly chart again, we can see that 109 was a very significant area for us to break out. We had one, two, three peaks, then four, five, uh, pretty close to 109 area. What's happening right now? All right, so this is what we are looking at, basically, at the moment. I'm gonna enlarge here so we can all see what's going on on the chart. So we know this was a significant area for us to look at and uh, market actually broke out uh, from there. 
uh, we had this like little peak here through the through that area. Basically, the next uh, the next week we had this kind of a, a clear rejection of the of the market of that um, higher level. However, uh, the bottom of the candle of that uh, of that upside down hammer was never broken, so the market never came down uh, to retest these lows here. Uh, we did continue on. Bulls were strong enough to break out. They finally closed the price above, and we moved on into a bullish direction. However. At the moment, same as with the TD Bank, we don't have anything to rely on uh, from the past where the market used to be. So we are basically, again, in the uncharted area. But what we can see on the market here, there's a couple of things that can that can happen on this. All right, we can, since we broke out like this, you know, market can just come down here and retest this 109.51 area, give us another clear signal to buy in and move on, okay? Second option, if you look at this candle here, this is one week of the trading. This candle did make higher high. This was an inside candle, did also close with the price above. So we have an area here on a weekly chart that we can kind of rely on um, for the market to just to bounce from if that proves to be a significant area, okay? Market will tell us if this is right or not. When I use if, when I describe anything, if means that we have to wait for the market to give us uh, a clear signal what's happening and uh, the uh, bulls or bears in control. So uh, if we don't see any bulls at this area here, then market will come down here to 109.51, okay, and give us most probably another opportunity to buy in into this market, all right? This is how it works. Right now, we are in uncharted territory. We only have one higher high, that's which is right here. So we had a bullish breakout. We had a continuation. Now we have this little candle here, which is a doji. It's a very uh, significant candle for us, which means that uh, uh, it's not clear where the market is going or heading. So we have to wait for the market to give us uh, some kind of a clear clue uh, how to continue on from here basically on a daily chart we have that you remember that line that we had there i'm just gonna pull this uh, new line here so this is the peak i was talking about i was talking about on a weekly chart okay we could have the market come down here let me just mark as well these two things this is on a daily chart and you know the daily chart is actually very significant as well for us to uh, to look at so this is what i see on a daily chart this is that peak on a weekly chart on one candle. This was one week of trading, okay? This is the peak that was made, all right? And we can may maybe expect for the market to bounce from this area here. However, the market is actually now stuck in this uh, daily uh, range, I would call it. We came to this 117, and it's basically bouncing between 115, 117 area. Uh, this is why we have that in uh, that doji, that insignificant candle, basically telling us that the market is not in any direction. So we have to wait to see what's going to happen. Either it's going to come here and retest, give us another opportunity, or it could drop all the way to 109.51, which is way more significant for us to look at and then look for the signal to buy in again into this market. So that's how I see it on a daily chart. I will try to cover as many charts as I can. We're looking at the wheat, um, and this is a very nice, a nice uh, um, stock to look at. Uh, if I squeeze the market here, if we take a look at here, okay, so this is from the past. We can see all this stuff that was happening on the chart, okay? And we also marked some of, uh, some of these areas, right? So we had the breakout here. The one that I mentioned to you Quite a, quite a while ago, and then we had this nice move all the way to this area here, $70. This is like a $40 um, worth of trading in one, two, three, four weeks of trading, okay? We can see why this area was very significant. We can see market rejecting this area quite a few times. If you look at these candles, that's one rejection candle, that's the second rejection, third, and then we finally kind of peeked through, we went back right away. This was a huge rejection of this level, so that was definitely a great level to look for uh, another trade at 38.26. All right, we also can see on the market that most recent area the market was was this area right here, and this is exactly where the market stopped. We can see all these beautiful uh, wicks that were just coming to this area and not going through. So all we have this basically we don't we have no not one candle that closed actually above. 
this area. So this area is very significant for this uh, stock and we'll see what's going to happen uh, in a week uh, to come. On a daily chart, I also uh, gave you a kind of a hint what's going to happen <laughs> just a few days ago. And uh, if some of you uh, caught that, then you know you made some money as well. So let's take a look what what happened basically here. Uh, uh, let's. Uh, so we had this is the area that I marked on the weekly chart. We know that this is a very significant uh, support area. Market went just straight through it to seventy dollars and came down straight through this area. Okay, came down to this thirty-eight twenty-six. We know that this is area to look for the signal. And guess what? This, this is what. That's exactly what happens here. We get this beautiful hammer right here. This is your bullish pin bar that got us into trade again and took us all the way to forty-five dollars from around thirty-nine dollar area forty. So basically, if you took it at forty dollars, you made a profit of five dollars just within one, two, three, four, five days of trading. So one week. And that's how it basically works right now. We are stuck in this kind of a limbo uh, here between the, this 38 area and uh, 45 area. We can see that market is not going anywhere. Uh, if it comes down here and give us a nice signal, we have another uh, beautiful buy-in at 38.26. If it breaks out of this area at 45, we can also expect market to come down here, a retest after the little breakout out of this. Uh, um, consolidation area and then uh, move on into uh, positive okay uh, areas to look for these lows and this high that matches and pretty much around 55 area would be something to be kind of to have that on your radar before you continue on all the way to $70 okay so that's weed moving on let's look at Air Canada my favorite one so this is what we have here. If we squeeze the chart a little bit here, we can see what happened in the past. We can see that this peak here matches this one here and matches this one here, matches this one here. So those were all significant resistance areas. Market finally broke out, came down, and then did this, okay? We climbed all the way to $52. And then COVID hit, and then we had this straight through that okay then we had this nice area that we were kind of uh, uh, going sideways basically once 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 and then we had this nice um, box that I was talking about and after finally giving us getting a signal at this $21 area we shot up all the way to $28 uh, th pardon me $31 here and that's where we are right now that's what we're looking at this on this chart this is a uh, weekly chart so don't forget that weekly chart it moves only once a week once once a week your candle closes so we have a signal on those uh, on those uh, uh, charts so we can see that this significant area here of 28 uh, in the, from the past was also significant here at this area here and the market just uh, went th straight through it came up to $31 and now it closed the price below this $28 all right is this a fake out? Let's switch to daily chart so we can see it better. On the daily chart, we have a couple things here that I can see, all right? This is this was the top here, all right? For this peak right there. Also, we have this one here. So those are the peaks that we can look at, you know, that are more significant where the price is located right now. After this signal that I gave you a hint out of that boxing area we had a beautiful beautiful signal this pin bar was uh, as perfect as they come and we went this nice steps move to the upside all right finally reached 31 dollars that's a beautiful bullish move i mean you can't ask for better than that this is like a school example of a bullish move now we are in retreat where market is pulling back and what pulling back means i always explain to you what it means it means that uh institutions and other significant traders are taking a profit basically market is in the retracement uh, mode or pullback mode and uh, we came down all the way to $26.53 uh, um, this is almost touching this peak right here okay we can also see let me just clear here we can also see after this peak was created here market moved on and then we had this rejection here you can see the a week went through it, a week went through it, and we finally had a bounce right there from the with the bulls. 
with this beautiful candle here. Signal to trade was given here. This was a pin bar and the market just moved on. All right. Now what's happening here? Well, if you look at this line here, we had this $28 area that was significant for us and we were expecting for signal to happen. Okay, I last, last time I made a video, I told you this was an, uh, this was an indecision candle and actually a decision was made. Uh, the, uh, profit takers continued on. Uh, they wanted to lower the price even more. And now we're stuck with this candle here, okay? Let's take a look at this candle here and enlarge it like this. So we can see this higher high that was created after this kind of step move, all right? Here, the, that was the highest high that was created back then, all right? Market came down here. We are now broken underneath $28. There could be another fake out, so this market just breaks out pulls traders in and then people start taking profit. Is this a pin bar? This is the question for all of you that are following my video. Um, is this a pin bar? And is this the good area to buy in into the market? Okay, I'm gonna leave it up to you to decide and uh, you can put your comments in the, in the comments section. Please do let me know what do you think about this candle here. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I want you to tell me if this is a good area to buy in and is this uh, a signal that we were waiting for to buy into this market and that's where i'm going to leave you with air canada let's take a look at tesla we don't have many points of reference uh, one point of reference is uh, 467 dollars and we can see why now the market came to this point and it was a rejected rejected we just basically went sideways uh, this candle came all the way to this area couldn't do anything we were just basically uh, stuck in the sideways movement from this peak here to this peak. So everything here inside from this peak here, we were basically stuck in this area for quite a while. This is weeks and weeks of trading. Okay, so we know that this area here, which is $467, uh, is quite significant. And then we had a breakout here and then we moved on all the way to here. We had this inside candle that was created right there. So we can use this as kind of a peak that, to see what's going on at this point of time. So $700 is kind of an area that market is kind of stalling. We can see that we went all the way to uh, almost, well, we went all the way to $900 right here. This candle actually touched $900 and then uh, created this nice slope here. Uh, we were in retracement, a market was correcting itself uh, people were taking profit so this was like a $300 profit that people took and we finally found some bulls at this area here and we can see that they're here they're located there however if you look at this candle right there okay this is basically engulfing this one and this one so this candle here even though it's telling us that the bulls are located in this area they're not as strong as we think they are at the moment Plus, as you can see, this line that I pulled here at $700, we can only see these wicks going through. No candle is closing above, above that area. So uh, basically, this is becoming a very significant resistance. Uh, what, I, what I can expect for the market to do is break out of this area. And then if it gives us a signal here somewhere, okay, we can uh, move on into this uh, 900 area again. All right. More clearly i would like to see the market to fall down to 467 that would be a great great opportunity for us to buy in back into this market um, or the third option what can happen is that we continue on in the sideways move until the traders say basically or huge institutions decide either going to market is going to continue on straight up or straight down to retest these two areas here and here so up until then we don't have any clear picture of what's going on with tesla at the moment we basically are stuck now in consolidation we are going sideways and this is how i see tesla for the week uh, to come uh, basically we are in a sideways move if we break out over above this 700 dollar area that we can buy in there if the market comes down, which I would love to, to see like a two, uh, 467 $500 area around there, it would be a great opportunity to, for us to buy into this market. And this is how I see the market uh, for the next week. I think I covered nice, uh, I covered five stocks to look at for the next week. So let's see what happens. And uh, 
I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you uh, subscribe to my channel. I thank all of you that subscribe to my channel and watching my videos. Please uh, click that like button uh, that brings more people to my channel. Everybody can learn uh, something from this. This is the way I see the markets for the next week. And I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful weekend and a happy first day of spring. Take care. Sasha out.